Hello, everyone. I'm Joseph Lemoyne. I'm the director of the Freedom and Prosperity Center. Uh, this is a research conference. I don't know if you guys heard, but we just uh, launched a book. Um, so if we can pull the slides. Uh, it's currently available on the Atlantic Castle uh, main page. Uh, for those online, you can go on the, on the event, uh, event page as well, and it should be linked uh, in there. Um, it's, uh, like we said, it's a, it's a world tour. Uh, it covers 18 countries and region. We invited many great experts that are, a lot of them are here today. Uh, and Darren Akshimoglu wrote the foreword. Uh, this, this is the list of chapters. Uh, this is to encourage you to go look at it. It's a very prestigious um, uh, group of people, uh, and uh, we're very excited about it. And it's, uh, it's also beautiful, um, something very important. And the work that we're doing is to make this research that sometimes can sound heavy accessible. We want people to go look at it, go explore, uh, go learn things. So we really designed something that we hope you will find uh, enjoyable to, to read, to play around, and so on. And um, like we said, the, this book, each author uh, uh, comments on the Freedom and Prosperity in Indexes as the entry point of each chapter, and then reflect on their experience from their own knowledge uh, of their country or their region. So the Predominant Prosperity Indexes is an annual publication by the Atlantic Council. Um, we are going to update the data uh, in um, uh, early May. Uh, here you can see the first two uh, reports, annual reports. And I want to stress out that we have a great website available that also falls into the, this idea of making data accessible. Um, you can access all the data that we have for 164 countries, uh, 28 years of, of data and, and growing. And you can pick every single component, indicators, measurements that you are interested in to see how it compares with regional, uh, regional, regional average, other countries, and you can explore trends and so on. Uh, we say indexes plural because we have two separate indexes, freedom on one hand and prosperity. And that's, we do that to be able to actually study this relationship, which is at the essence and the core of, of what we do in the center is, is freedom actually the best path to prosperity? And like, we, like it was discussed earlier, the research finds, finds that it is. If you're a country today and you are going to improve your freedom, at term, you will see the benefits in terms of prosperity. Um, on the Freedom Index, we measure three things. Um, political freedom, economic freedom, and legal freedom, or the, the rule of law. And on prosperity, we have a beyond GDP definition of prosperity, so we not only look at income, uh, GDP per capita, but also health, inequality, education, minority rights, and the environment. And here's the list of everything that we measure. Uh, this is to trigger your curiosity. Uh, if you want to go look at um, political rights in Myanmar in the past 30 years, you can do that on our website. Uh, so we really encourage you to go explore. And the entire data set is available uh, for download for free, of course, uh, on, on our website. And we are a research conference. Um, for those in person, uh, next door, we're going to go into coffee break now. And, and during this break and during the lunch break, in the room next door, you would see some of the research that has been done uh, with our partners and by the center. Uh, we encourage you to interact with those scholars, for those online, uh, you can, uh, uh, on the event page, everything is listed there with links to the, to the, to the, to the publication. Uh, this, this one uh, has been mentioned already, the, um, Patrick Kirk from the, the International Republican Institute and Lauren Van Meter from the uh, National Democratic Institute use the indexes to explore how China and Russia perform uh, in terms of uh, freedom and prosperity and the title of the publication lets you guess what the results, uh, results are. Um, uh, Jérémy Bertrand from the uh, ESEG School of Management and Caroline Perrin from the World Bank with the, with the team here look at, uh, use the Freedom Index to explore what uh, drives foreign direct investment. Looking at uh, today uh, in the context of decoupling with China and Frenchering and so on, what are the, the things that are attracting investments and what, 
what do those countries that have more investments have in common? As you see here, no matter if you look at, look at it in terms of G FDI per capita or FDI in percentage of GDP, free countries across all regions attract much more uh, investment. But we, we were also able to test all things equal, what is driving this relationship, and we find that <coughs> um, security, you know, not a surprise, property rights and corruption are the three main drivers today to uh, foreign direct investment. Um, our friend for the Mexico uh, Council of Foreign Affairs, COMEXI, uh, did um, uh, a publica publication using the methodology from the Prosperity Index to measure uh, at the Mexican state level the, perfor the performance of, of each of the, the states. And here as well, the very inter interesting findings you, you see with this color map that there are disparities in terms, you know, between countries in terms of prosperity, but within states, there's also a lot of uh, 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 disparities and different levels of prosperity. And here, a great tool for, um, for, uh, for, for policies uh, in Mexico to understand actually how is the government uh, delivering for their people. Um, this, we launched a new book, Six months ago, we launched our first book, uh, which is a collection of essays by 30 scholars from all over the world. Um, the book is available next door for those online. You can download it on the, on the, on, on the events page. Uh, there's a lot of great chapters there. It's, it falls, again, in our objective of inviting scholars and experts from those countries to get their, you know, the real life knowledge of, of, of where they're from and what they're, or what they worked on. Um, some great chapters, uh, violence against journalists in Mexico, uh, one of the most successful chapter in this book, uh, very interesting, the role of elites uh, in Kenya, uh, government inter intervention in Nigeria. So here again, I'm saying this to trigger your curiosity and for you to go uh, to go explore. Um, a lot of the publications are still in the working draft. Uh, so for those online, I'm sorry, you, they're not ready. But for those that are here, please engage with our scholars that are here in person. Um, Ambassador Kelly Curry is writing a case study um, on Myanmar. Um, Adrian Basavan is writing a case study on, on, the, on China's national innovation system looking at uh, artificial intelligence. So, you know, big topic. And uh, Julio is um, looking at what drives innovation and how bureaucracy uh, in affects uh, uh, innovation. And Ignacio uh, is looking at the empirical investigation of the effect of freedom on economic growth. So please join us for coffee, a little snacks next door. Uh, we hope you engage and learn things today. And uh, thank you. And <laughs> And for those online, we'll be back in about 20 minutes. Thank you.